सो हे व्हाट्सअप गाइजन पे स्टडी हियर एंड वेलकम बैक इन अदर क्विक ट्यूटोरियल आई सेट क्विक जस्ट बिकॉज आई विल ओनली शो यू हाउ यू कैन क्रिएट दिस स्कैन लाइन इफेक्ट आई एम नॉट गो शो यू फॉर बिल्डिंग द सीन एंड एनिमेटिंग द कैमरा एंड ऑल सो आई इंस्पायर्ड मेकिंग दिस ट्यूटोरियल फ्राम डिफॉल्ट क्यूब the owner cg matter you know i hope you all know i will put the link so you can go there and check it on his, and on the screen you can see the cg matter scan line tutorial that was pretty good and when i saw this tutorial then i thought can we make this scan line effect inside element 3d and after effect so i just playing around and i just got the way how i can make so this uh i can not say the real laser and light but this is a, a technique which i discovered and let me show you how you can create this and this can be very useful for some of the project your some of the projects so let's get started the tutorial after this nps 3d intro <laughs> you can see there are many control like you can just change the color change the size of laser you can rotate the laser as well as if you want and you can change the position as well as and it will work all element 3d object so this is good so you can see so let me uh, get started with any of the project so let me duplicate maybe this comp3 comp6 and then this is a scan line so i will delete it this is my basic and if i go to the scene setup here you can see i just i have a plain model and i can just move this in this group as well as if i want and uh, if i want i can just change all the models so let me from the let me show you so if you want you can just simply create some sphere if you want you can just create any 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 of the geometry or if you wanna want you can just place some models from the model packs and let me uh, you know make them all so you can get the idea which will work or not and the size the position rotation doesn't matter the screen line will work on every objects so let me small down it little bit so this is our project you can see pretty good so now we will create the scan which is the topic of the tutorial so Let's control D of the element 3D, which is very important because we are going to create the scan line from the element 3D. So now I will rename it to the scan line, which is not important. Then the important step is go to the output, and here is a option called world position. So world position basically what it does, it create a Z depth map, but it will stick on the place. Like if you will see. the z depth is stick on the same place it is not moving so if i want any specific area so you can see this will uh, let me go there and you will see it will not move it will stick on that place so we will uh, take advantage of that thing so now here are few settings which i uh, adjusted for the creating the scan line so first make sure the feather both side checked on so now it will create a line you can see this is like scan line and here is the option for rotation so you can rotate the y direction x direction whatever you want so in this case i want in y direction like our preview and here you can animate the position this way or if you want you can just position like this way also so now i will add a keyframe on the position g z so in the very beginning this will be like here 
which around here and then in the very end this will go and scale all of our components like this and then let's check it pretty good but it's fast so maybe I will decrease it so something like this so let's check it so you know this is like the scan line is somewhere around here the laser is somewhere around here and it's scanning the whole scene and there are a lots of controls so we can adjust it so don't worry about anything now the more step here is like the edge smoothing which is basically smooth the edges so if I will zoom here and then I will increase it to the something around 12 you will see and which is very good because in the scan line you will not see something like this so you can go with somewhere around 6 or maybe 1 make sure this is on so I'm going to something like 2 and here is one more option the scan line don't appear don't seem like this much of white or you can see this much of thickness so for redu reducing the thickness what you will do just decrease the matte feeder and see which suits you and your for your project and if you think there is don't enough brightness I mean the expansion you can come here and add a little bit more so it will you know uh, the thickness and the heaviness maybe uh, it makes sense so this is it guys we are halfway done so this is the scan line and now what we will do we will just simply go to the scan line and press F4 or you can just simply go here and click it and then change the blend blending mode to the additive and make sure the below L method layer is also on so now if you will see let me switch back to the half red so we can go faster so you will see it's scanning all the objects on the screen and it, it is pretty much dynamic you can see so now I will uh, go to the scan line and let's change the color so I will apply tint effect because there is black and white so I will change the white into the red green blue anything which you like so in this case let me go around the purple this is just for fun guys and let me show you this this looks pretty good but the thing is this is not completely like laser because maybe there is some glow so you can add some glow for better looking and if you want you can just put a exposure here to maybe bright it little bit more if you want and if you think it's too much of thick you can just go inside the scan line again and go to the thickness and turn down the feeder to make it more thinner and if you want to create a second scan line so just simply duplicate this scan line and change the timing I mean the position of Z matte so like in this case I want start from here and I can change the look to the red and then I can change the position or rotation so maybe if I will solo this layer then I can just simply rotate it and I can make the thick feather little bit more like 8 and maybe 6 so let's check the preview so you can see the scan line and make sure this ending is also different otherwise it will stick on the same time so I hope you got the idea how I created the scan line effect inside element 3d 
and uh, there are a lot of controls so you can use it and uh, I did this so same so all right guys I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I hope you got the idea hit the like button if you learn something new from here and I will consider subscribe this channel if you are new here and you will find a lot of element 3d related stuff here and if you want to download this video project file you can just visit my patreon page and there are a lots of project file related to after effect and element 3d so this is it guys thanks for watching my video thanks for loving me i am nps 3d and we will see you next time with a great tutorial and this is a hint again